Kent, I'm sorry I didn't realize you were asleep. I was just resting my eyes. You should have come out for dinner. No, I wasn't hungry. Actually, I'm surprised to see the place looking so tidy. No pizza. No dishes. No nothing. Oh, Danny, really? Eating with your fingers like savages. That's the right way to eat pizza. Oh, so it says on the box. No. How nice of them to give you instructions. I don't understand why you're so upset about the pancake competition. You're a great cook. It's got nothing to do with a stupid pancake competition. Silly me. Fred. Huh. Yes, of course it's Fred. He's gone back to Coffs Harbour. Oh, I was such an idiot. I really thought we might be able to get back together again. What made you think that? Well, we... We hadn't been so intimate in a long time. What a pig. <laughs> I think that's putting it mildly. I can think of a lot more expressive ways to describe Fred. Well, he's gone running back to Susan. I'm left here by myself feeling very second best. Oh, you'll never be that. You know Shane and I care about you. Oh, Max can't wait to get me out of the house. If he and Maria get back together again, there'll be no place for me here. Well, seeing I've lost the competition, I think I'd better get that furniture down into the garage. Not that I'd meet your father one. He was very unfair means getting Helen to stand in for him. He never would have beaten you by himself. You're not a bad cook, you know. Oh, who on earth can that be at this time, Danny? Would you get it off? Go and patch up my face. Get out. Uncle Tom. Right again, Danny. Well, you going to invite a Blake in or what? Of course. Come in. Who is it, Danny? Tom! Sis, oh. good to see you. Oh, Tom, it's been such a long time. What are you doing here? Oh, well, Max rang me on the phone and explained all that had been going on. I'd just given myself a month's holiday. Oh, bored stupid already. <laughs> so I told old Maxie I'd take over his jobs for him. That's good of you, Uncle Tom. Yeah, well, I'm a better plumber than he is any day. <laughs> Shane! Oh, get out. Oh, well, that is a great welcome. Sorry. Tom's come to fill in for your dad while he's away, Shane. Stone me. What's wrong with you? You look like a bloke who's lost a pound and found sixpence. What's up, mate? Something happened. Yes, well... Daphne went out to dinner with Des. When she came home, she told me to get lost. But why would Daphne treat you like that? Suddenly the bank manager's got a hell of a lot more appeal. Can't blame him. Who is this girl who's using my nephew like a doormat? Oh, she's Shane's fiance. They've been having a few problems. Oh? Huh? What's her name? Daphne Lawrence. Where does she live? Next door. Reckon I'll have a word with her. Hey, Tom, you haven't even met the girl. Please don't interfere. It's only a lover's tiff. Well, then it shouldn't take long to sort out, should it? It will only make things worse, Tom. I'll be diplomatic. Must be Shane, but sounds like he's angry. Oh, I can't be bothered arguing, Clive. Could you please tell him to go away? Right. G'day. I'd like to talk to Daphne Lawrence. Just a moment. Okay. I'm Daphne. Can I help you? Well, I hope you're very proud of yourself. You've got young Shane there feeling lower than a snake's belly. I'm sorry, I don't... Who are you? I'm Tom Ramsey, Max's brother. Oh, is this the bloke you went out with tonight? No, but Daphne and I went out to dinner. We don't have to explain anything to him, Des. Oh, no. I'm only your fiancé's uncle. Or did you forget you had a fiancé? Running around with another man. Daphne's not running around with another man. Oh, I remember you. There's Clark. Yeah. You've got that uh, rat bag of a mother. Hang on. Des, Des, why don't we just let Clive handle this? Clive? That service of yours, I've just employed you. Great. 
My first client. Fortunately, I've taken notes. Hey? Eh? You see, what Daphne wants you to understand is that no relationship can exist without trust. She has got to have the freedom to choose her own friends. Love can't be like a straitjacket. If it is, it's not worth having. Look, I just want to talk to the young lady, not you. Daphne's my client. This is a paid announcement. It doesn't necessarily reflect the opinions of the management, although in this case it comes damn close. You see, it's clear that Daphne's philosophy is that although there must be some constraints within love, they have to be self-imposed. Jealousy only eats away the relationship until it destroys it. Perfect love means perfect trust. If it doesn't, it'll only rust. Oh, what do you think I do the whole thing in Rome?